Hi everyone, welcome to another video. Today I want to show you an easier technique how you can paint fins on your lures without having to risk ruining the entire lure if your fin would fail. So let's begin. Right everyone, so I already painted up some lures and now I'm gonna show you how you can easily put on fins there without using an airbrush too much. Right, so what we are actually gonna do is we're gonna cut out our fins from foil. Now you can use any kind of foil. You can also use aluminium tape, which is very cheap and easy to come by. But I'm gonna use this golden foil now because I want a kind of a golden fin on there. And to make it easier, I am going to make a stencil of the fin that is already on this lure so that it will fit perfectly. And this is also gonna help you to make symmetrical fins. I also got this stencil, which has a few, a few different kind of fins. So you just choose your fin, and this stencil is gonna help you create two symmetrical fins. So, in order to make this stencil, I'm just gonna place it on the lure. And I'm gonna simply draw out the design. Like so. I'm gonna cut this out real quick. Alright, so we got our stencil. Now we got some aluminium tape here and I'm just gonna simply dust a little bit of white paint over there. And now we're simply gonna cut this out. Now you can simply cut this out with scissors, a big one or a small one, it doesn't really matter. I'm gonna use my X-Acto knife because I like to use this. And now we got our two little fins. Now let's say we wanted them to be silver and actually not white. Because if you want opaque white as a base for a fin, then this is a great start. But maybe you want them to be silver to start with. Well, there is an easy solution for that. You just take a little piece of tape here. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna fold it double. So you got glue on both sides. Put that on there. Now if you think they are too close you can also take a larger piece of tape and just put them a little bit further from each other. We're just gonna take some airbrush cleaner, paper towel. And there we go. We simply rub off the paint. And now we got nice symmetrical silver fins to begin with. Now another part a lot of people struggle with is painting fin beams. It's a very difficult process, especially with an airbrush. It asks a lot of finesse and control over the airbrush and it takes a long time to master that skill. But it's actually just an easier way. You can just paint them on with a paintbrush as well. So I got some game color black here. Always shake well. I'm gonna take a little bit, I'm gonna thin that down a little bit with just some water. Now I'm gonna take my finest paintbrush, which is a 20-0. It's a very, very fine. And we're simply gonna paint them on there. Another great thing about this technique is, if you don't like it, you just wipe it off with some airbrush cleaner again and then you can start over until your fins are as good as you want them to be. And now you're not risking to ruin your lure. You can't wipe it off that easily when you're doing it on the lure as, unless you did a clear coat in between. But in this way you, you can keep on trying as many times as you want before you put them on your lure. And now I got some wicked detail sepia in my airbrush. And I'm just gonna darken the edges of these fins a little bit. Alright, now our fins are finished and we're gonna put them on there. And there we go, an easy fin. And I could say it's failure proof. As long as you keep on working on those fins separately away from the lure. So these practically are fail proof fins. 
Now I just take some Vallejo dead white in my chamber and I'm gonna make the beginning of that fin a little bit white. Now don't forget you can use any type of foil. You can use very nice holographic foils. You can use colored holographic foils. You can use just aluminium tape. You can make them opaque so that your fins are not shiny but you can also keep a little bit of the shiny element in there by just spraying a little bit of an opaque paint over there like white like I did today. You can also play with the colors of the fin beams. These can be brown, these can be for being very simple and a little bit more foolproof these are actually really nice fins they look very good on this lure too it's a bit more round shape fin and it gives a little bit more of a cartoony feel maybe but it really fits on this lure it's really nice and they are so simple to do so guys, I really hope this might inspire you and try out this technique, especially for the beginners that really have troubles painting on fins on their lures. Because for some lure painters, it is kind of intimidating because you want to paint the fin on a freshly painted lure and, that's, and that fails, then your bait is ruined because it's very hard to come back from that. But if we do the fins separately, and we fail then we just can clean it off do it again until we're happy with the fins and then put them on so we don't risk ruining the rest of our lure as always guys i will leave a link in the description below to all the products that i used in this video this will guide you to my web shop and in this way if you would buy anything there you will be supporting me and the channel if you got any questions about this technique leave them in the comments down below and as always thank you for watching and see you next time Bye-bye.